to check out the tools and what we're doing. I'm very curious. Okay, let's go. Let's go, goats. Hey, this is Vance with Root Homestead, and we're doing the second part of hooking these water barrels together to feed our chickens. Um, and we did it in perfect timing because it's getting cold fast. Um, so, what was it, about a week and a half ago, we, we did this barrel, and I filled it up to about 40 gallons, and it's almost out of water now. Um, so that's good to know that this lasted a, a, little, a little over a week, about a week and a half. So with the two barrels together, the goal is that we'll be able to um, have water last for about a month so we'll only have to fill up about every month. And one problem we did run into is I put a one half inch I put a yeah a one half inch um, valve on here and it's really slow. It takes a long time to feed up so you can kind of see how slow the water is. Usually when there's more pressure it comes out a little bit quicker um, but we don't like to stand here and wait for it to fill up and especially as snow starts to come and it gets cold the last thing we want to be doing is standing out here waiting for it to fill up. So not only am I going to be connect, uh, connecting the two barrels together so that we can get 110 gallons of uh, water storage out here for the, for the chicken feeders, but I'm also going to increase this to a three quarter. And I'll show you why um, the difference between going from one half to a three quarter straight ball valve and the difference in the size of the water flow. So this is the half inch valve that I had on there um, and it's just, you know, garden hose type half inch. And I'm, I'm, I went to, to the hardware store and I actually found a straight ball valve like this. And the reason why I like this um, so much better is even though this is only a quarter of an inch bigger, if, if I hold it up to the light, you can see that's the size of the flow. That's how much water can come through that ball valve when it's open versus the three quarter. You know, it's way, way more volume. Um, that can come through there just by having a different uh, a different style ball valve. Okay, um, so I got the valve off, and the next step I'm gonna be doing is because um, I, I thought originally I was gonna have to switch the barrels, um, put this one over there and drill a new hole since I'm gonna be doing a bigger, a three quarter inch instead of a half inch. But I'm actually just gonna, I'm gonna be joining these two together, so I'm actually gonna be needing this hole anyways. So I'm just gonna be using a three quarter inch union um, or bulkhead, I've heard it called both of them. Um, so you can see the size difference. It's a little bit bigger than the one we put on in the first video, get a little bit better flow. Um, and so I'm going to be mounting it here on the barrel and then I'm going to be using mounting this one on this barrel and then connecting the two together so that I can fill one of them and have it overflow into the other so that I can, I'm connected. And so what I'm going to be doing next is drilling the holes uh, for that. I used a one and a quarter inch drill bit to drill um, for this hole last time. I'm going to be using the same drill bit to drill for this one, and um, um, and then I'm going to just take my uh, a sanding bit and and make it a little bit bigger until this one fits, so I get a nice snug fit. Because my next drill bit size up is a full half inch bigger, um, but since this is only a quarter inch bigger, uh, I don't want to drill a half inch bigger and have it loose in there and, and and leak on me. So I'm just going to use the same size drill bit, and then I'm going to use a sanding bit um, like this, which I just happen to have laying around, and I'm just going to kind of. Uh, sand it a little bit bigger until it fits. You know, I should get a nice snug fit that way. Okay. Right there. Oh. Push it until I get something to resist some resistance. There we go.
definitely the slow way. I wish I just had a, <laughs> a bit that was the right size. <laughs> All right, so I got the hole drilled. It's a really tight fit, so I'm hoping that I can be able to get it through on the back end. So I guess we'll find out. Um, so I'm gonna use that same trick again. I just tied a wrench under the end of a piece of twine here. Now, because my hole is over here now, instead of directly above it, because I drilled the hole over on the side, it might be a little bit trickier to get it down in there, but I'm, I'm not too worried about it. I think if I can just drop it down. Yeah, shouldn't be an issue. And I can see it right there in front of the hole. Just gonna reach in with my finger. Got the wrench, easy enough. Maybe, yeah, okay. Perfect, and now I can just take my male end of the union. Let's see, make sure I got it right here. Yes. All right, so I want it to drop down this way. So I'll drop that down. Okay, so I went to put my three quarter inch down in there and because it's got these little tabs um, sticking off, it actually won't fit down the hole. So I'm just gonna have to cut these little tabs off. Um, uh, it's, it's no big deal because I'm gonna be tightening it on the inside anyways. Um, and I don't need to grab a hold of this uh, because it's reverse threaded. I don't need to grab a hold of this from the inside to hold it anyways. All right, so I'm gonna take a short intermission. I'm gonna cut these tabs off and then we'll drop down the barrel and continue. Should work way better. All right, see if I can get it to drop down now. Okay, so I went ahead and sand, uh, I cut those tabs off. I just used a, pa a pair of pliers, um, and then I just sanded it so it's kind of smooth there. Let's give it a shot again, see if it fits. So as I put it in, I want to make sure that it comes out the correct way, so I'm going to feed it um, into the male end of the union like such. Now it should drop down in. Perfect. Dropped right in. And then came right to the proper hole. Let me get my finger in the threads. That's going to be a tight fit, which is just fine. Oh yeah, real tight fit, but that's good. I like that. There we go. Oh yeah, perfect. And then I can pull the string out. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the plastic washer on the outside. Check my writing. There's writing on, on this that says tighten and loosen, and this is reverse threaded. So I can go ahead and tighten this up, and I... So I think at the moment, all I really need is hand tight here. So I have my ball valve, make sure my handle, now I, I can't put it on that way, obviously it'll hit. So I, I want it to face this way. That'll be closed, that'll be open. Now this union, um, it's reverse threaded on the outside, regular threaded on the inside. And because this is a female and this is a female, I just bought an adapter, oh, got dirty. I just bought an adapter, so I'm just gonna throw some plumber's tape on both ends of it real quick and then I will tighten it in here well I'll actually tighten it onto the the ball valve first and then I can tighten it into here and then once it's held into place I can tighten this on the barrel because I'll have that you know resistance um, coming from the threads this way definitely not an expert with plumber's tape but this seems to have worked in the past two three four, five, okay, I can, all right, 
Might as well tighten that up. Tighten this all up later as well. Okay, so I have uh, plumber's tape added onto the other um, mail-to-mail adapter that I'm using here. So I can I can now put this into the barrel. I actually didn't tighten it on the barrel completely, um, as you can see. And one of the reasons I did that is because I kind of wanted to get um, the ball valve positioned where I want it. So I hate it when you, you screw one in, you screw um, a ball valve in or something and it's not perfectly straight. But this way I can get it straight. And I, this is nice and tight and, and in. And then I can take my channel locks here, hold it right where I want it, and tight. And because this is reverse threaded, I can tighten the barrel up just snug right where I want it. Perfect. Great. That'll give me a lot more flow. Um, so now, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to put an adapter on the end so that um, I have the three quarter inch threads on the outside, which is the same as a garden hose, so that we can hook up a garden hose to it. I just wanted to have that piece on there. Hand tight right now for that is just fine. Okay, great. Okay, so I positioned my second barrel so that my gallon um, readings are right here. So I'm going to put these really close together. Um, I bought the hose that I bought, I, I don't know, it comes in five or six feet. Um, but I'm just going to be cutting off a short piece and connecting them together just so that they'll equalize out and, and um, one barrel will, will fill into the other. So I'm going to try to get the hole pretty darn close to the same height, but it's not an exact science. So this should work just fine, just kind of eyeballing it. All right. Ooh, almost out of juice. Okay, so I'm gonna take the, I guess it's called a bunk hole. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's called. All right, so I'm putting my pliers in here. I'll try to get some. It's pretty tight. Man, let me see here. I think if I... There we go. Cap off. I got some of these, um, I don't even know what these are called, but these uh, hose connectors that I, I can just um, screw one at each side, put a piece of hose in between the two, and I will get some clamps to go on the outside. The hardware store that I went to um, was out of them. And I'll just be taking my hose. Let me cut off a piece real quick here with my razor blade. I mean, really, that's just eyeball it and see how much I need here. Okay. Oh, I need to tighten that up. I'll tighten these all up. Okay, there. Push this one together. 
And you know, that's a real tug fit. I don't, uh, I don't anticipate this leaking or needing the clamps, but I'll put some clamps on there just in case. Okay, so now my two barrels are joined together. Um, so once I tighten those up and check all of my connections, I should be able to fill uh, one of the barrels and it should flow into the other barrel. Um, and I've noticed that as long as I don't keep the top cap on tight, um, it you know lets a little bit of air through the threads. I keep it on, I just don't keep it on tight. It lets a little bit of air um, adjust in the barrels so that it'll balance out. And we should be able to fill them up and watch them balance. So, and that's how you create or that's how you connect two water barrels um, together and put uh, a tap in it. I don't know what, just, I don't know what it's called, I forgot. <laughs>